Hi guys, Collar here, bringing you another audio commentary from the present day world of Pro League, and this time I'm bringing you a series between Air Force Ace and We Made Fox that was played uh, yesterday on May 13th, 2008. And in game one, we have none other than Slayer's Boxer versus Red Nada. That's right, we have the two best and most revered Terran players of all time facing off with each other in this Pro League game. I'm very excited about this. Uh, Boxer, of course, playing on the left here for Air Force A is looking rather intense and uh, just trying to prepare himself mentally. Nada actually looking rather unconcerned. Uh, he seems quite cool and confident going into this match. While both of these players right now are not at the top of the statistical uh, heap in terms of Terran players, uh, they're the players that I just say the fans love the most. Um, they've historically won just so many tiles in between them and changed the face of Terran uh, StarCraft play so much between them that um, I have to say they're just absolute legends. And people have commented that I seem to have man crushes on at least Boxer and several other uh, Terran players like perhaps Nada and Savior, and I have to say I'm not ashamed of having man crushes on on both of these players because they're just absolutely uh, a beautiful, beautiful StarCraft players and also complete gentlemen, uh, professional players, and hence that makes them beautiful men to me. Uh, anyway, we have Boxer here spawning in red at the seven o'clock position. We have Nada spawning in teal at the ten o'clock position. This map is Othello which has produced uh, for us a lot of interesting matches and perhaps the ledge overlooking the uh, natural expansion will become something of, of importance in this game because that ledge uh, just reminds me a lot of Lost Temple's ledge um, where you have ledges overlooking the uh, natural expansion and tank play can become really important there as, as both players try to control that area because uh, if you get a couple of tanks up there and some anti-air you can effectively stop the other player from ma mining from their natural which would set them back highly. Um, while both of these players are legends, uh, I have to say their playing styles are quite different. Boxer definitely plays better at a lo low resource setting. Uh, he's very good with his early game creativity, he's going for quick rushes, uh, whether they be double factory rushes or marine rushes or wraith rushes. Um, not as strong as skills, I think, are in the late game. He's very much a macro heavy game, very good with large unit size control, and uh, just very good with late game tank and vulture play, I think. And of course, just overall, um, Nada, I think, is slightly better against all the races. Uh, well, in general, I mean, his statistics statistically a little bit better than Boxer in general. And also, he's more well-rounded. Boxer has just a really amazing 2-to-1 ratio against Zerg. I mean, Boxer is just a natural-born Zerg killer, but uh, his other lineups are not as strong, whereas Nada is about equal in all of his lineups and above 60% for all of them. In any case, though, anything can happen, of course, because this is, uh, they're both playing against, um, just, you know, absolutely amazing players, and they do know this, so they might be throwing forward some interesting play or some non-standard play in order to fight off, uh, in order to fight off, obviously, uh, champion opponents. Um, looks like both players so far have not gone for any cheese. They've gone for, uh, I believe, t barracks and refineries at 12, and, uh, by the way, that basically means that you build your barracks and your refinery at 12 SCVs. The reason why you do that is because if you do it correctly and you mine gas immediately after your refinery is complete, uh, the moment your barracks is complete, you'll have enough resources to build your first factory. So it's basically the way you get tech up the fastest as a Terran player, and you want to do that, um, against Terran players especially, but and often against Protoss opponents. Looks like Nada sent, uh, I'm sorry, Boxer sent out his scout to a wrong position there at the upper right. Nada has yet to send out a scout yet, and Nada looks like he's going to be producing some Marines, uh, perhaps just to deal with the scouting SCV. And looks like Nada is going to be producing his first factory inside his base. Boxer is also producing his first factory inside of his base here. And looks like both players, uh, looks like Boxer stopped mining gas entirely, which is a sign that he's going to be going for a fast expand here because Terran players like to save the minerals for their extra command center. And looks like Nada, Nada's only mining with one SCV, so also going for a fast expand. Very standard play here from both players so far. And looks like Boxer is going to get a scout now inside of Nada's base. Looks like, actually, no, Nada's placed his uh, Marine there perfectly on the ramp, so Boxer doesn't get a scout inside of Nada's base, unfortunately for him. And looks like Boxer will deny a scout from Nada also. B Nada actually not bothering with an SCV scout. I think he's just sending out his barracks right now to uh, float over Boxer's base. And Boxer looks like he's setting up for a command center here, but this is in a really interesting place here. This is not overlooking his uh, natural expansion, mind you. This is overlooking a mineral expansion at the 6 o'clock position. His natural expansion's at the 7 o'clock position. You can see it on the minimap. And we see Nada here going for a starport, so he's going one factory into starport. And this is also a, certainly a variation that's quite common with uh, with Terran players, although it's not 
not as standard as going for a uh, command center into two factories or three factories. Uh, Nada will be a little bit behind in his factory units, of course, but he will get some rates out, I believe. He could be going for a vulture drop, but uh, the more likely case is going for rates and for some harassment early on. And this might play into his hands here. Um, play right into his hands because Boxer is looking like he's going for a double expand here. That's my guess right now. It might be a little of a, a bit of a preliminary guess, but there's no other reason why Boxer would be creating his, uh, constructing his command center at that awkward position to the to the right there if he wasn't thinking about floating it to the mineral only and hence getting another expansion at his natural. This is going to be really risky for Boxer though. I don't see any additional factories or tech, so I have to assume he's going to be going for a double expand. And I have to say a double expand is really risky against a, a fast tech here. Um, especially where, where not is going for a fast rate tech. I think Boxer is just going to be big trouble. He's so far working off of one factory with a machine shop. Uh, really not getting a second factory down. So um, really I, I feel like Nada is going to have an advantage here if he plays it off well. And right now we're seeing Nada uh, moving out with his um, his uh, two marines and a tank here, and he's going to set down his command center. Boxer, meanwhile, is committed to a lot of vultures, and now he's building his second expansion uh, at his natural expansion. Nada's going to spot this with his barracks, and I think Nada, being the brilliant player that he is, is going to know something is afoot, that something is foul, uh, something is foul in the kingdom of Denmark, and uh, he's going to expect either Boxer have gone for some very fast tech or have gone for a double expand here because there's no other reason why Boxer will have built his um, expansion so late. Looks like Nada's got his first Wraith out and looks like uh, he's probably going to be upgrading Cloak at his control tower pretty soon. We have a first person view of Boxer and Boxer's decided to research Vultures here, uh, Vulture Mines here. So Boxer actually incorrectly calculating what what Nada was going to do. If Nada was going for a tank build here, an early tank push, Boxer's build would have been quite good because his Vulture Mines would have prevented the tanks from getting down here. But Nada has done the opposite. Nada has gone for a fast air build here. And I think this is going to play right into, uh, basically play into Nada's advantage here because he can, he, he will be able to harass quite well against Boxer. And Nada's now moving out after a second Wraith is done. I don't see any anti-air inside of Boxer's base so far. I don't even see an armory and I actually don't even see a second factory. So Boxer could be in really big trouble here. And of course, uh, cloaking is going to be up, so uh, he's going to be in further trouble once these raids get cloaked. And it looks like Boxer is going to finish his armory here, but he's still working off of just one factory here because he has saved the minerals for a second expansion. And now Boxer has spotted the two raids coming in here. They're going to pick off the two marines quite easily, and now they're going to be able to go to town here against these SCVs. And it looks like Boxer is trying to put up an academy also. He does need that for the comset stations. And it'll be a race to see if he gets in here. But Nada spotted, spots this. I think he's going to pick off that SCV building the academy.